Hi, welcome to my luxury beauty channel, Charmonique Renee. I'm Renee, and today I have a luxury lipstick haul to share with you. This is a collective haul of lipsticks that I've purchased over the past few months, mostly in January and February. I have Hermes, Dior, Tom Ford, Gucci, Guerlain, and Killian. Since there's so many lipsticks, I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to start with this Rouge Dior, since it's the only one that I have. This is the New Look Edition in the shade 975 Opera Velvet. Now, I am just now getting into Dior lipsticks. Oh, wow. This case is gorgeous. And the reason why I'm a little late getting into Dior lipsticks is because I haven't felt moved to buy them until now. Uh, sometimes it's that simple. <laughs> and this is a hard plastic. It's not a fabric material. So what drew my, oh, look at that. What drew my eye to finally purchasing Dior lipsticks was the holiday lipstick set that they came out with. I would see them year after year and sometimes I would start to make the purchase, but then uh, I just didn't. But last year's holiday i definitely purchased so i'm actually and i still haven't filmed <laughs> that video yet it's still sitting wrapped waiting for me to film so i'm actually swatching this before i swatch the set but that is okay I, oh man this is so pretty this is the velvet formula It's very soft upon swatching. I'm just trying to get it to look even since it is a darker color. That is gorgeous. So what I'm going to do, because there are so many lipsticks here, I'm just going to organize it more by brand and do it that way. I also forgot to mention that this lipstick is $45 and I paid $45. The reason why I'm mentioning what I actually paid is because I got a nice amount of these lipsticks on sale. So I'm going to mention the discounted price that I also paid for them. These are the Guerlain Rouge G lipstick cases. This one is Romantic Boheme. This is what it looks like. Don't worry about these scratches here. This is just a protective plastic covering and the scratches is on that, but I'm not sure I want to remove the plastic to protect it from more scratches, if that makes any sense. But this is Romantic Bohem. I'm not sure how to say this. Paru, <laughs> par, <laughs> it's gold. <laughs> okay, so that's the box and this is what it looks like. This one is the original. So this one is what the Galan Rouge G case looked like before they came out with the refillable lipstick line. This one is preppy chic. That's what it looks like. I originally hesitated to get these particular shades, not this one, but the metal and this faux leather one, just because I wasn't sure how I liked the design of the material. So these three all have the same type of design pattern. And my hesitation for getting the metal cases was because I remember seeing comments of people saying that it scratches easily. What made me decide to go ahead and get them now 
is because I decided I just wanted to go ahead and get all the cases <laughs> that grandma came out with. I did not intend to do that at first, but I have purchased so many over the years that at this point, I just kind of just wanted to just go ahead and get them all. This one is Miami Glam. See, it's that same texture, but I love the pink color. This one is Perfect Black. You know, they don't make the newer cases with the picture of the case on the box anymore. They do keep the way the case looks on top with the name, but the image on the box is no longer there. But this is what Perfect Black looks like. And like if you've seen other videos of mine, I like to keep the plastic seal on the cases because without it, you have to have a lipstick inside to keep it closed. And the way that I store my cases, I do not want them, I do not always want to have a lipstick inside of them. And the last case is Simply White. And that is what it looks like. These are all the older style cases that Guerlain came out with when it first launched, except for this one, this came out the following year. The Guerlain Rouge G cases, these older designs, they're $22. I paid $22 full price for these two because some of these are harder to find now. I don't know if they're being discontinued or if they've decided just to roll them out the different designs periodically now, but these aren't as easy to find. So I went ahead and I paid full price. This one, this one, and this one, I paid $15. Bloomingdale's, I don't know why, but they only charge $15 for these cases. It seems like it's a permanent sale. They rotate out the designs that they have periodically. So that is probably the best place to go. And these two I found for $14. And they are, again, very difficult to find. As far as Guerlain goes, there are two more videos that I would like to release. One is of the fall 2021 collection with the fabric cases and the new velvet matte formula. And the other video is the recent collection that came out, the Legendary Reds. But after that, I will do a video on my entire Rouge G collection. I've had some requests to do that, but I kept buying <laughs> more cases, more lipsticks. So I'm at a point now where I'll be able to do that collection video. Now we have Tom Ford. This is Lost Cherry. And this is the original Lost Cherry shade. That's the actual name of the shade. I know that they've re-released this packaging. They call it the Lost Cherry packaging with lipstick shades that already exist, but this is the actual Lost Cherry shade that I think came out, I wanna say I think, 2018? That is a gorgeous red. And it looks like there's some shimmer in it. That is so pretty. And I tend not to wear frost or metallic lipstick shades. I don't think they compliment me very much, but this is the right amount that I think I can handle. It's not too much that I think it will look weird on me. And this is the Bitter Peach limited edition shade in Cherie. This is a new color. So it has the Bitter Peach packaging. And this is a 
nude lipstick shade. It is also matte. I think it is. Yes, this is a matte lipstick formula. Hmm. <laughs> I am not so sure about this color. It will definitely need a lip pencil to work, I believe, with my skin tone. We will see. I will pair this when I finally get around to doing the look with the Belle Depeche Eye Color Quad. This retails for $58, and I paid $58 because I purchased it as soon as it came out. And this retails for $56, and I got it on sale for $47. They also released a Lost Cherry Eye Color Quad, limited edition. It's, it's not a new quad color. I believe it's Body Heat, but I don't know. I may pick that quad up just to go with the lipstick casing. Oh, and I just threw this in for fun. I got this as a free sample with one of these orders. This is Scarlet Rouge. I think these little mini lipsticks <laughs> are so cute. I will not be swatching it. I kind of just keep these at this point for collector's purposes. But I just wanted to show it. And that reminds me, I believe Scarlet Rouge is also another shade that comes in this belt, this Bitter Peach packaging. And I think it also comes in the Lost Cherry packaging, <laughs> if you really like this color. I may have to just go ahead and purchase the full size of this so I can really see what this color looks like. Next is Gucci. This is a lip balm, Jocelyn Claire. It's just the transparent clear lip balm. I have another lip balm that's um, tinted, the Renee pink shade, but I also wanted to get it in the transparent color. This is a limited edition shade, Emmy Red. I believe this came out, it's also satin formula. This is the New Year 2020 case. And the only thing that distinguish it that says it's limited edition is the box. As you could see, there's nothing showing it on non-limited edition Gucci lipsticks. There is nothing demarking that it is limited edition on the actual lipstick other than whatever design that they come out with for the case. So you can easily switch these cases with any other Gucci lipstick. So this is Emmy Red Satin. And I really do enjoy Gucci lipsticks. They do have a rather strong fragrance. It may be too strong for some, but I, I find it tends to fade over time. This is from the Holiday 2021 collection. This particular design, this is the shade Goldie Red in the matte formula. That is what it looks like. And I especially like Gucci's matte formula lipsticks. As a matter of fact, that's the formula I think I have the most shades of. 
and that is goldy red. These two are from the Lunar New Year 2022 collection. So these are the newest shades to come out. I love the blue flowers and these are a sheer formula. I have two sheer formula lipsticks in the regular casing. So I definitely wanted to pick up the limited edition design. I think it is so pretty, so elegant and just old classic makeup. And I had to get two because I had two of these, so I had to get two of these. And again, there is nothing marking that these shades are limited edition other than just the case design and the words limited edition on the box. This shade is goldy red. Again, it's the same shade as the matte lipstick, except it is in the sheer formula. So that is a side-by-side -side comparison of goldy red in two different formulas. And this shade is Marina Scarlet. This is also a new shade. There is a third lipstick shade that they did for Luna New Year 2022. It is Mildred Rosewood. I already have that shade in the satin formula. I actually got it because my grandmother's name is Mildred, but I just wanted to get two lipsticks in the design. So I definitely wanted to get this one since this was a new shade. What the second one was didn't really matter to me. I was able to get the goldy red shade on sale. So that's the choice. And these look more opaque on my arm then it will probably appear on the lips since it is sheer. Gucci lipsticks cost $42. I paid $42 for Arena Scarlet and Holiday Goldie Red. I paid $34 for Emmy Red and I paid $32 for the sheer Goldie Red and the Jocelyn Claire lip balm. And these two, I just ordered them from the Bergdorf Goodman sale that I posted about in my community tab. So shipping came really fast on those items. Now we have Hermes. I originally wanted to do this as its own separate video, but I am so far behind. I have such a backlog of videos that I need to do that I just decided to include them in this luxury lipstick haul video. The first shade is Beige Kalahari, number 13. And all of these are satin lipsticks except for this one, which is a matte. This is a pretty beige lipstick. I like Hermes lipsticks. I like the formula. I like the color selection. They do have a fragrance, but it fades away after a bit. This one is Coral Flamingo. This is bright, <laughs> but I love bright lipsticks. This is perfect for the summer. But since it's a satin formula, it probably won't be like so in your face.
rose lipstick. Seems to be a bit darker than Corral Flamingo. Rouge H. Now, this is definitely a deeper color. This also comes in a matte formula. I chose to get the satin because deeper colors, depending on how deep they go, I think they age me. They make me look a lot older. So I tend to get dark, rich, deep shades in the satin formula because I think it softens that effect. It's a very pretty color. All of them are pretty. And next is Rouge Orange, and this is the matte shade. Gorgeous. These are all lipstick shades from the Permanent line. They are $67. Wait, correction, there's been a recent price increase, so they are now $69. I got these four for $54, and this one was included with the Bergdorf Goodman order, I mentioned in my community tab, that came very quickly. I paid $52 for that one. What I have here, and this one back here, this is the limited edition shade from the Spring 2021 collection. So I have all three. Now I dragged my feet with picking up the shades from that collection. So they disappeared from the Hermes website and I didn't see them available to purchase at any store other than Selfridges. So I have the other two shades from that collection, Rose Oasis and Beige Ebloué. All three are satin. The reason why I kept the Selfridges back here because I had a viewer ask about purchasing from Selfridges. So I just wanted to quickly mention it. I love shopping from Selfridges. It is a high-end department store in the UK. I highly recommend paying for their Selfridges Plus shipping. It's, I think it's $55 now, but you get free shipping for a year. It pays for itself in only two orders because without it, you would pay a flat rate of $30 for anything shipped to the US. And as you saw, Selfridges sends everything inside of these cute little pouches. And I've made various orders from Selfridges and these bags always seem to come in various sizes, very, very small ones and very, very big ones too. And they also, they also include everything in this cute little box that's always yellow on the inside with the logo and this yellow and white tissue paper. Again, it doesn't matter what size the box is, it always seems to come with this type of packaging. We'll start with the shade Beige a Bluey. The lipsticks always come in the orange Hermes box. I love that they come in these burlap cases, these canvas cases, because when I carry a lipstick in my purse, I always make sure that it is in these protective pouches. 
This is what the casing looked like. The limited edition lipsticks always have colorful blocking as opposed to the shades from the permanent line. They will always be gold and black. If it is a matte lipstick, the black will look matte. If it is a shiny lipstick, the black will look glossy. It looks like a pretty pink brown neutral shade. This is going to be so pretty. I can see why it was selected for the spring collection because this is definitely a nice spring color. Rose Oasis. The limited edition lipsticks are all $72. I believe for the two that I got from Selfridges, I paid 73. They were a dollar more, um, I think because of the currency exchange. But typically you could find a lot of items at Selfridges that are lower than what they cost in the US. Very pretty. Like I said, I love bright lipstick colors. The last Hermes lipstick is Corel Aqua. Again, these the limited edition lipsticks are $72, and I was able to get this one on sale for $63. And that's typically what I like to do. I like to buy my makeup on sale because I love a deal. <laughs> Who doesn't? Satin formula. I love the color blocking. Another beautiful bright color. It's also deeper in shade than Corel Flamingo. I thought they would be closer in color, but they actually are different. This is all of the Hermes lipsticks that I hold. Beige Kalahari, Corel Flamingo, Rose Lipstick, Rouge H, Rouge Orange, which is the matte formula, and the three limited edition lipsticks in Beige E Blue, Rose Oasis, and Corral Aqua. Also, here is a pro tip. The Hermes lipsticks are refillable. So if you like a limited edition case, but don't necessarily care for the lipstick shade, you can just swap out the lipstick from say a, the permanent line that you do like you can buy these as just individual refills i believe for 43 dollars i think and then you could just swap it out with any lipstick shade that you want the only thing is the actual limited edition lipstick shades they are not available as refills we are now at the end of the video with the Killian lipsticks. I have two. I saved these for last because this one is a very special one. This is Crazy Rose Matte. I think Killian lipsticks are just so gorgeous and stunning. Just look at that design. And the lipsticks are scented. They're scented like 
the Killian Fragrance Love Don't Be Shy. That is the shade. Gorgeous color, as to be expected. Oh, I smell the fra <laughs> I smell the fragrance and how it is lovely. Now, as you can see, this is wrapped. I ordered this directly from the Killian website, and I have been waiting to open it. This is a special limited edition lipstick that came out for Lunar New Year. But I believe this isn't the first time. I think it also came out last year as well. But I just learned about it when it was released again this year. This is the Achilles Shield Matte Intoxicating Rouge. The color is not limited edition, but the casing is. It is red and it is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Let me see. The design pattern is the same as the black tube. It's just in a red color, but based on pictures, the ice. And this is um, the matte formula. Based on the pictures that I saw, oh, there it is. Look at that lipstick design. The Achilles Shield design is also printed directly on the lipstick. I am sorry, I cannot swatch this. <laughs> this is going to be a pure collector's item for me. Wow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to order the intoxicating rouge in the regular lipstick packaging at a later point and I will swatch that, but there is no way I am going to ruin this beauty right here. This is $59. I paid $59. The regular lipstick is 56 and I believe I went ahead and paid 56 for this one. And just another look at the Achilles Shield limited edition shade. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. Ring the notification bell so that you know when a new video uploads. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.